Hello and welcome back to Two Indoor Gaming and we are in Cave Colonies and today I just want to get some of the quest lines out of the way. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do I think is the heavy sieve. Uh, oh no, I think I need to do the compressed hammer before I do the heavy sieve. So let's do that first. Compressed hammer is pretty simple. You just need nine hammers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then, just like for this special stone hammer where you used the pickaxes, it's this time we use the stone hammers and we will get a compressed hammer, which looks really realistic. Wow. Okay, what do we use the compressed hammer for, you may ask? Well, it's for bashing up compressed blocks, of course. So let's um, compress some blocks. And the way you can do that is just use your compress key, uh, K. Make sure you're in the crafting table, uh, otherwise you're going to have some troubles. I'll show you what I mean. If you're just here, uh, just in your inventory, and you press your key, you're going to get yourself a new crafting table. Because that's what four blocks is. So make sure you're actually in a crafting table so that when you do the compressed, you get a compressed cobblestone. See, it's just basically that. So, yeah. But, like I said, the quick way is just point at it, press your compressed key, and so on and so forth. And then exit out, do R, and it will pile up what's left. So the advantages of beating up compressed stone is one, it's a lot quicker to lay it down because I'm effectively laying nine blocks at once. So that speeds up this process a great deal. It also takes up less of your stamina, though in cave colonies they're handing you food uh, out there all the time, so it's less of an issue. But you might want to save that food for your colonists because they'll be asking for food a lot too. So you beat it up with your compressed stone hammer. It re takes it to the next level. Uh, it doesn't automatically become compressed. If you want, then want to make that into compressed gravel, uh, you have to do just what you did for the stone. So, okay, and there we go. And now we have compressed gravel. Compressed gravel cannot be used in a regular sieve. See, I've just uh, made my sieve a little bit larger. Apparently you can go up to 5x5 five five or something rid ridiculous, uh, according to the um, flavor text. Let's see where that is. Uh, not this one. Oh, I should detect that and get me some stuff. Is it going to detect it? Yes, can I claim it? Oh, I've got to choose. I choose gold because iron's easier to come by and more plentiful. <clears throat> so if you have a look, where was the sifting thing? It told me somewhere here that you could use... Uh, okay. <clears throat> ah, this one. I think. Yes, here we go. Uh, you can have up to 15 sieves in a 5x5 five five arrangement. See, I'm not sure how that works, considering 5x5 five five is 25, but hey, yeah. So I don't know if it, 15 sieves is the maximum or the 5x5 five five is the maximum. That, um, yeah, I'm not just, just not sure on that one. Anyways... And, uh, you know, 5x5 five five is way overdone, so I'm not going to bother testing it out. You can test it out if you want. I think 3x3 three three is just a plenty. So, yes, you can't you can't use your compressed blocks on that. You need a heavy sieve, so let's make one of those with our oak wood. Very similar to the regular sieve, only it's got the wood logs rather than planks. And now we can put it down wherever, say here, put in a, a mesh for it, obviously, it needs its own mesh, and then we can sieve a compressed block, so it's actually compressing, it's sifting nine blocks at a time, so just like this, only one block, uh, 
Yeah. Now the flavor text says that uh, here we are that it will give you regular sieve but nine times in one sieving. The problem is that makes sense, but if you look it up and let's say we want to find out how to do the um, all clusters. Oop, no, what is it called? I'll just pop in iron uh, here. Iron or chunk, sorry, or piece, right. So this shows you, uh, you know, your rates of drops when you go in here. If you look at heavy sieve, it tells you the drop chance is times seven, not times nine. So by using the heavy sifter, there is a bit of, of, of loss. Obviously, two blocks don't count. So um, yeah, the speed thing is is balanced out by the uh, uh, by that loss. So you so it's obviously quicker. You only need one mesh to get seven blocks out of your nine. So you might find that just doing a diamond mesh when you get to that, it's only going to cost you six diamonds for one mesh. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier or you know you're gonna to get to that advanced stage a lot more putting it in heavy sieve than trying to wait till you get 54 diamonds so that you can get your nine block set up so I think that's where it comes into its own not at this lower level where it's pretty easy to get the materials for it uh, yeah you also might find uh, because dirt cannot be sifted higher than flint uh, mesh that you might find you leave the uh, a flint in 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 this um, in your heavy sieve, so then you you can just put in your earth and do that quick, rather than having to switch one out or leave one in your array uh, lesser than, because you'll want this up higher at your iron or, or diamond level uh, for better stuff. So yes, so that, that's the heavy sieve. That's the sort of thinking behind it. Uh, it says nine times, but yeah, I think as with the 15 sieve 5x5 info, it's um, not totally accurate according to the mechanics of the mod. Um, it does say 7 times. So yeah, but, yeah, but that's that's done. We got the heavy sieve. Uh, ooh, 2 diamonds. Bonus. Uh, so then, I think along those lines, we're going to need some water if we're going to do the semi-automation. So we should do water next. Uh, you're progressing, we also need water. You make a wooden crucible, da, 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 extra saplings. You place a torch under the wooden crucible and now it's turning into water. You don't have to put torch under it. Yeah, there's there's another slight area, uh, uh, pff, error. The stone, or well, the fired crucible, if you're making lava, needs a fire source, but not the water. The water just does it automatically. So um, yeah, you can you can ignore that. Uh, what is the recipe for that again? Oak crucible. Okay, wood and and some planks. Get some wood out of here. Uh, slab. I mean, yeah, I've got a slab. So make it up like so. Where are the saplings? That's plenty. So now you can put down your crucible. And then just get your saplings in hand. It takes any organic matter. If you make a, some uh, shears and clip the leaves, they'll work too. That's a bountiful source. If you want to save your 5,000 um, little trees, you can. Uh, your call on that one. So, yeah, so we got that going. All you do is you plonk in a bunch, 10, I think, and then it gets you some water. So, obviously, for water, we're going to need a bucket. And I did sieve a whole bunch of gravel. Uh, before I started recording so that you didn't have to watch that and put these away Ooh, look at all this iron uh, and if you remember you can just do that K button again and there we go we've got 14 more iron perfect put that in to cook up for me right Right, 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 right. So that's coming along we'll get the water going um, we'll make ourselves do they have sink in this one? Ah, sinks are cool. Oh, they do. They do. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that's going to take some terracotta and stuff, and which needs clay and da 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 da. We can switch to that later. Um, it's better than having your little, 
two by two pool of water sitting in the middle of your floor but for now that's still the best way to go about things so let's do that uh, probably put that too far I might have to move the crucible down this end I think so how's that going is it fulled up yet nope still going yeah yeah you'll, you'll be able to visually tell now so we're gonna have to prep this area for the automated semi-automation auto sift or water wheel stone axle it's not too difficult uh, at all but we do know I should get a proper pickaxe that's all I was looking for do okay So I like to recess this, it's your choice, you can have it sitting above ground, I don't really need some access to it. So just uh, one underneath, yeah I got one more, I can always repair it easy enough. I might do yeah this way works best for me let's get that what I'm doing will become apparent I'll probably end up having to take out the sieves to get it fixed but anyway get it all sorted that'll do for now okay now we got our water, water it do, it do. scoop it up I'm gonna need more I know Two more. All right, that's that. So we get an infinite water source, and that will help us because we are going to need um, some clay soon, but not straight away. Let's get our mechanisms together. So we want a water wheel. Here we are, water wheel, and it's not too difficult. The biggest thing is the stone axle, for which we need a bunch of gears. And we're going to need some more stone, aren't we? <laughs> and some stone rods. Now, I made up these stone rods before, but I'm pretty sure they're the wrong ones, because there's two kinds. Yeah, they are the wrong ones. More stone here. I'm gonna have to get some more stone. I've been doing this at just four blocks high because the initial builds for mine colonies dwarven structures are four blocks high. Once you level them up to yeah level two, it gets different. But um, yeah, that should be enough for now. Let's get back to it. So there's two kinds of stone rods that you can make. So there's this kind. That's the wrong kind. You don't want that kind. You want this kind. See? That's Tinker's Construct. No good. That's Ex Nilo Creatio. That is what you need. So I need like six of those, don't I? Oh, that was a very straight line, wasn't it? Huh? So we make six... Oh no, I've got four. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so you make those, then we put them here and here, put our gears here, and we have a stone axle. Ba, ba, ba. And then, what was it again? Oh, we can make it a water wheel! Yay! We're gonna, actually going to need to make a second stone axle. So I better do that. Ooh, one, way. Two, one, two, three. Stone gear. Was it stone gear? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stone axle. I, I know what I'm talking about. Occasionally. All right, six more. Do do do. Oh, lovely water sounds. And where are the rods I just made? Down here. 
to make another stone axle I can scoop the water now and put it over here we've got ourselves a nice pool of water I just uh, move this down the other end it makes a lot more sense actually yeah, no, that's fine. I do have to make a wooden barrel at some point, but I can leave that there. Okay, and now I can just sort of refill it back up. I don't have to use any more of my saplings, see? Ah, oh, too easy. But you knew that bit already. Okay, so we've got the wheel and the uh, gear. Now we need the auto sifter. Here we are. What does this one take? Oh, another axle. Okay, we are going to need some more stuff. Pistons need redstone, iron, wood. Do I have any redstone? I do not. I'm going to have to sift for redstone. What do I need? Uh, let's see. Dust in iron stiffened mesh. Okay, so I'm going to need at least one iron stiffened mesh. I'm going to need a bunch of dust and then I can get me some redstone along with all these other fun goodies. Uh, bone meme will come in handy for making porcelain. Uh, so more of that is always helpful. So what I might do is um, not bore you with me getting the dust and stuff. I uh, will skip ahead to that part. Uh, well, first I better make the actual iron mesh. So again very simple process it's the same same uh, recipe shape for every upgrade uh, yeah I'll be back in a moment okay so now I've got a heap of dust heap of dust heap 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 so I want to let's compress it down because we need that iron uh, sieve mesh so uh, do a bunch that sounds good. Now I don't want to use it all because the dust is going to be vital for making clay and porcelain. So uh, do not use it all or you'll have to go through the whole process again. So let's sift this up see if we can't get us a good old stack of redstone and uh, glowstone dust and uh, I can't remember what else, gunpowder I think. Zip, 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 zip. Okay, that should be enough. I don't need to bore you with it. Here we go. We have plenty. We've got plenty. So we need to make two uh, pistons. Uh, cha, cha, cha. Okay, one, two. Perfect. Now we can make an auto sifter. Like so. So we want to put it down here in our hotbar so it can all be placed. And we need some water. Because the water wheel needs water to work. And yay, we got the quest. Now, I think it's just going to be easier if I take out those sieves. Seriously. I should just do that. Just It's going to be easier for you folk to see it as well. Let's see what's going on. Yep, that'll be enough. So yeah, you set up your sifter arrangement. I think we have to... Uh, the alignment matters. There's gears and stuff. So we've got sort of this here. And then... Uh, see what I mean? That's obviously not going to work. So... Uh, yeah, that's better. And then you have the water wheel which needs to be facing that way okay now let's see if I've got the water wheel the right way or not yes no because that's not moving do 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 so we obviously need to replace place it the other way 
So give me that back and place it there. Ah, see, now it's all moving. I can tell that it's working because it's moving. Simple as that. Um, so the water's doing its job, turning the water wheel around. I wonder if it makes a difference if we put it on the other side or not. I haven't actually tested that out. Oh, well, let's do it while you're all watching. Uh, and. No, oh, it just stops it. Ooh, what if I take that one away? It's going against the current. Freaky. Ooh. Okay. Well, obviously, yeah, that didn't didn't help. What if it's flowing towards it? I don't know, because it seems awful slow when I did my test version. I'm going to try... Picking that up. There's flowing water. Doesn't seem to be going any faster though. Does it? Oh well. It was worth a try. Worth a try. Uh, I did bake up some stone so I could cover my tracks. So I might as well do that. I think I like this, the flowing water effect because it looks a bit silly if it's just spinning in a in a standard pool. But uh, yeah, that's cool. So there we go. There's the auto sifter. How does it work? Well, let me show you. So we put this back and a mesh in it. And then we hold down our shift key. Oh, I don't think we need to hold down our shift key, do we? Oh, we do. Okay. Oh, check it out. Duh. Mesmerizing, isn't it? So now it has become an auto sifter. Which means I can put in some stuff. So let's put in some dust. And very slowly it gets sifted. <clears throat> and then you could probably set up some with hoppers and things and stuff to catch the, th the whatever gets thrown out of it. Maybe you could set something up to get it all poured in as well. I don't know how that goes. Uh, I'm sure it would work if you, I don't. I couldn't be bothered at this point. But yeah, yeah, something like that would work, I think. Hoppers in, hoppers out, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so there's our auto sift the thing. We can get our choose gold again. Thank you. Not that you actually have to place it to fulfill that, but you know, you get that choice. Now, water. Okay, oak crucible. Uh, I've got to detect it while I'm holding it, do I? Yeah, that's that's genius. Just so we can tick off all the boxes. And I choose bread. I can get mine coal. But food is for the happy ones. So we then we get stone barrel and you can get dirt. <coughs> um, clay, witch water, netherrack, and stone, etc, etc. There we go. Quest, quest complete. Water. Let's get a crucible now so for that we are going to need dust and oh do we need to make a a wooden barrel may as well put the barrel down since I've got to make it anyway so let's look that up <laughs> Okay, slab and planks. No worries. Do we still have a slab around somewhere? Yes, we do. So I'll grab at least one of those. <coughs> so getting all of this stuff out of the way is just going to enable us to then meet the needs of <coughs> the community as we build up our mine colonies. Oh, look, see, it's done at last. And I got some bits. Bits out of it. Yes. Uh, what was it doing again? Barrel. I was doing a barrel. No, I made the barrel. 
Now I need to make a stone barrel, but first let's put this down because we need that to make clay. So barrel does the same thing, it's like the crucible in that it holds water, it just won't make water. But we don't need to do that because we've got an infinite pool here. So you fill it up and then you get dust in your hand and you right click it. And it turns to a block of clay. Yay! Just like that. And so you just repeat that until you get as much as you need. This is why I wanted the receptacle closer to the pool for this little process. I'm not sure how much we need, but a good amount of clay helps. I think I might do nine. Do, do, eight, nearly there. Voila, there we are, we now have nine clay. To make porcelain clay, you need bone meal and clay balls, not this. So let's plonk down, let's see, you get four of each. I need uh, at least eight. Is that enough? Yes, my mass was correct on that. So now that we have that, we'll go in here, put in a clay, use your bone meal. We now have eight porcelain clay. Make that in the barrel shape. Gives you an unfired crucible. Now you got to cook it up like so. Meanwhile, I will make the stone barrel, which should be just similar to the wooden barrel in that you get a slab. And I'm going to need at least one more bit of stone, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. Okay, that didn't take long, so that's fine. Let's make a bunch more of that. Give me one, give me one, give me one, 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 one. So we can bring down the crucible. This can now turn stone into lava, but be warned. You put in four blocks of stone, nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? What have I done wrong? This is where you need the torch. You don't actually need it for the wooden crucible, you do need it for the stone crucible. So if you remember that from a few minutes ago. Okay, so we've got ourselves a stone barrel. Get that out of there. Like so. So you need to put at least a torch under it. And if you want it to burn quicker, you're going to need to up the ante somewhat. So lava is quicker than uh, quicker than a torch, obviously. But what's even quicker still is burning netherrack. Uh, how do you get netherrack? Well, that's one of the, the the other quests, so that will help. So now you see it's on the move. Slowly but surely, it's sh shrinking down and it's converting it into lava. Now, uh, if I recall, it can hold up to 5,000 units. Um, a bucket takes 1,000 units, so it's either three or five. I'm pretty sure it's five, though. Uh, so, five buckets worth full, but it can only hold four stone at a time. So, you have to wait until at least it's gone down 25% uh, before you can put in more stone. It's, so yeah, there's that. That's a thing. So now we need to wait for that to work. Do, 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 do. Now, unfortunately, in cave colonies, they don't have cobblestone generators, which was a great thing about stone block. Uh, it'd be a nice addition, but it doesn't really fit the theme, I don't think. So I'm not surprised it's not in there. But yes, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, what else can I do? Oh yeah, if I make up some terracotta. Oh, no, not the dust. I need the clay. Yeah, that makes terracotta, doesn't it? How much do I need for the sink again? Three or more? Uh, oh, no, five. Okay, five. Three iron. It needs three iron. Sure. Put in some more there. We'll make up the sink and I can get rid of this hole in the ground. Which is not attractive and not helpful. Not really. because I made too big of a hole there. There we go. So that should be down enough now that I can add another one. No, not yet. I forgot how slow torches are. Uh, uh. 
that's gonna take a while. Okay, back to the sink. We got enough iron, don't we? Yes, plenty. Plenty! So that was... Oh, that's right, we need a bucket of water first. Bucket of water. Terracotta. And iron. Now we have a sink. What the sink offers you is unlimited water. Where do I want to put it? Uh, somewhere down here, I guess. That'll do. That will do. So now, if I want to, uh, well, we better get my bucket off there. If I want water, I just scoop it from the sink, like so. It's all good. Oh, fishy. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can fill this in now. Need some more stone. I should just do like a half, half stack, but. Yeah, and that's sorted. How are we going over here with our lava? Well, now I can add a bit more. There we are. That'll just help the process. Now this is good if you put, you can put like a chest and a hopper and it will um, feed it through as, as long as it can be fed. Uh, if that's your, your thing. Um, and you've got plenty of iron you want to throw around. But that helps keep your lava supply up. That's what you're after. Okay. Do, 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 do. Uh, what, what can we do while we're waiting for the lava? Well, what's next? We want, we can make dirt. Gee, that's a silly one, isn't it? Stone barrel. Ugh. Wait a sec. Who is it? Wooden barrel incomplete. Is that because I put it down? Seriously? How about now? Ah, <laughs> switched over. Okay, let's go get the stone barrel and try again, shall we? Yes. Now I choose pumpkin bread because it sounds cool. No one's done. So dirt is just have 16 dirt. Do I have dirt? Yep. How about now? Yeah. See, so you can actually put the barrel any organic material and watch it compost into dirt but you can get dirt otherwise simpler right also wood chipping stuff right that's interesting but why would you waste the wood on that as well uh, but that gives me eight steak mmm yeah oh, I don't have any space do I let's get rid of some of the stuff got a leftover one of those put my pumpkin bread away uh, I'll hold on to that for now I don't need that don't need that that away, put this here so I can replace it. There we go, how are we going? Oh, we can put a more, bit more stone in. Getting closer and closer. Oh, uh, 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 so we did that. Oh, we got to claim it. Oh yeah, we're claiming the stake. Mm. Now, clay, uh, yeah, I still got a clay in my hand, don't I? Yeah. Ooh, a bookshelf. That's good, is it? Huh? What would you use one bookshelf for? I do not know. Okay, so which water's fun? You need ancient spores for that, so that's going to take some um, sifting some dirt to get to that. And you can get an ender pearl or a sponge. Different. I don't know why you bought what was sponge. Just picks up water, doesn't it? Do you use it for something else? I don't know. I don't. I don't know. There's a lot I don't know about Minecraft, to tell you the truth, that I never bothered exploring previously. Uh, maybe I'll look it up at some point. So we can't do that. Oh, well, we could do that, but I don't want to do that just yet. The witch water. So netherrack takes lava and redstone, and endstone is uh, lava and glowstone. Right. Okay, so we need all of that lava. Ugh, so slow. So slow. 
So what I advocate doing is as soon as the you get your first bit of lava come out, turn it into netherrack and put it underneath. So your next bit of lava is like three times faster. Because see how long this is taking? Just to just to I should get rid of this water. Uh, is it ready yet? No. Nope. See, I haven't got my first bucket yet. Meh. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So the whole trick with converting things from, with the water and the lava, right? It doesn't work in a pool. Uh, it's got to be in a barrel to access that mechanic. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No, no. No, 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 no. I think as soon as I can add an extra one, that will be done. What, what else is there? Oh, baits. Baits. Porcelain. Now I get some more of that porcelain made up. Touch. Just need some more bone meal and stuff. That won't be a trouble. And make dolls to make mobs. Yay! That'll be fun. You can do it. Oh, well, look at the chicken. No, uh, sorry, the baits for making animals. So you make bait blocks and lure them to automatically appear. All you have to do is craft the bait you want and then place on a block of grass and next to water. Walk away at least 24 blocks and wait and wait and wait a bit more. Then bam, automatically the animal will appear. Oh, you get a well. A well, what does a well do? Maybe not so useful, it says. It says. Now, in the other stone block, the bait needed not just grass, but it needed to be near water, as I recall. I wonder if that's still the case or not. Dun, dun, dun. So you make all the baits up and it's all happy. Okay. Finally, let's get some lava. Nice. Put it in the barrel. Dip in your redstone, and now we have netherrack, so we can go to the next level here. I should make flint and iron, steel, whatever they call it. That'll help. All right, now look at that. That's much quicker, much quicker. No nowhere near as painful a uh, process, and that's going to speed up the rest because you got for your quest, you got to make like eight, sixteen, or something netherrack, and sixteen of this, and seventeen of that, and what have you. So um, yeah, that takes it just gets painful if you're doing it with a torch the whole time. So even though I've immediately thrown away my netherrack it's in our hole it's going to make things a lot better i will need a lot more redstone though to meet the quest uh but that's why i'll sort that out ah uh, that'll do oh there's so much stuff i put through um you've seen the basic mechanics of this i'm not sure i will walk you through <sighs> netherrack and endstone i might just complete those off get them done um, and I'll tick these quests because you've seen me make porcelain and lava um, it just hasn't sort of done the quest bit so I'll get rid of all of that um, and maybe come back next time and we'll get some animals on board I'll get that ready with enough dirt and grass and whatnot remember your grass seeds you get from filtering a uh, sieving I should have yeah there's some grass seeds and one will grow on a patch of dirt so uh, remember it needs to be on grass not dirt so you need to get that sift some more uh, dirt if you need to to get the grass seeds for for what you what, what you want uh, and that will be fine I can just show you quickly if you like why not why not now a little patch here Yeah, that'll grow over now. The grass will spread. I don't know, every ticket has a chance or something. I don't know exactly how that goes, but it goes. 
See there? That was a lot faster to get our next, our next bit of lava. And if I use some of this glowstone dust, bing! Now we have endstone! Yay! For that stuff that endstone gives you. Okay, thanks for watching. This has yeah, been just a bit of a quest cleanup kind of episode. Little mechanisms. If you're familiar with them, then this wasn't that interesting. If you weren't, then um, this will have helped a lot. So, yeah. For those that helped, uh, you're welcome. And for those who didn't need it, um, thanks for sticking with the episode. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>